guys imagine when I passed listen second day driving I crashed my car yeah um <laughs> never again no, I think you showed so me a picture everyone of it, crashes their car though first week it's normal <laughs> not really but it is, it is more likely it is more likely yeah. as a new driver mm. let's go left here Ryan left here yeah okay Alright. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, don't hit my car. Don't hit my face. No one's hitting your car, Farhan. Don't worry. I don't trust you, mate. Right. Okay, move off from here, Ryan. Yeah? Cool. Why am I doing six point check? No one even does that. <laughs> Everybody does that. Until they get a license. Wait, have you got any students today then after me? No, no, no. I moved them. I moved them. Yeah, she moved them. Love yeah. that. See? He moved his students to me. And if you're, I'm not gonna crash your car. How do I know that? Listen, I've been. Do you think people crash the car purposely? Go, go about looking to crash. Go to get one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to feel like I have to follow the rules while I'm driving because it's just. You're going on top of the roundabout. Bro, it's fine. Alright, go on, go on, go. Guys, it's fine. Literally on top of the roundabout. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Ryan. Like and share and subscribe, and you get a free wrap. Mhm. Mm on me. Is that, is that your chips? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. Today we're going to watch a driving mock test with our student again. Um, you've probably seen her before in part one. So this is another attempt. And we're going to show you, or she's going to show you, if she can pass a driving test or not. So let's go through it. We're doing a mock test with Ryan. And she's passed a driving test with me a couple of months ago. Now we're doing a mock test. Yes. Okay. So she hasn't driven for a while and we're just going to do a mock test with um, Ryan to see um, what she remembers with me as an instructor. Hopefully I was good enough to teach you a few things. Definitely. And also hopefully not any bad habits that you picked up. Exactly. Not a dangerous driver. Well, you we're going to we're gonna find will, out. Yeah, you'll find we're out. We're going to find out. Definitely passing. <laughs> Let's see how she gets on. Okay, cool. Before I go though, we need to yeah? do What's that? Okay, if I pass... Yeah. I'm keeping your perfumes because I know where you what keep perfumes? them. You keep them in my in that glove box. Oh, right. I remember You're back not in keeping the day them. You're so if you pass, you get this. Yes. No, I don't think so. I will pass. Do you know how much this is, right? This is expensive shit, man. You're not keeping this. I know it is though. That's why I'm keeping it. See, even that alone is like what twenty pounds. Try a bit. Try a bit. Do you know? Do you even know what this is? Creed. Yeah. Creed. Dang it! I know you uh, always get expensive perfumes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, like, what happens if you fell? That won't happen. But if it does, it's a bet, man. Then I'll take you out for dinner. Yeah. It's all me. Dinner. My late past present. Ah, right, cool. <laughs> Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the button. It's only one click, but it makes a big difference to my channel. And also, just in advance, thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. So let's get into the video now. Born. Right. Yes. Okay, Ryan. Whenever you're ready, move up from here. Turn right at the roundabout, please. Right, yeah? Yes, please, yeah. Let's um, keep going straight. Go straight on the roundabout, right? Okay. The windows down? Yeah, it's alright, it's cool.
go straight. I think I'm gonna pass you now. We'll see. So what happens if you pass? Do I get? I get the first one. <laughs> Do you know what? Because I'm a nice person, I'll still take you out. <laughs> I just get a perfume in it, so I'm not complaining. I'll sell oh, the perfume oh. and get the money back. Oh, you <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a... Um, let's go right at the traffic lights, Ryan. Redley's Park literally where I go all the time to park up. Okay, once I can deal with this, right? Total right. Miss that, deal with this, deal with this. <laughs> oh shit, did I say it? Yeah, you always say deal with this, deal with this. Oh, sorry. I thought I told you the answer. No, you didn't tell me the answer. Alright. So as a teacher, even if you're doing your exam and you try to start a conversation with the examiner, they will try to cut you short if they feel, okay, it's not necessary at this situation or something's difficult is going to happen or it's going to affect your driving. So in this case, as a teacher myself, uh, I, I said deal with this, meaning I'm trying to give the option and the hint that, look, focus on the road. So that's just me as a teacher, but the examiner himself will do something similar, maybe try to cut you off or maybe try not to even have a conversation going so bear that in mind let's uh, do right, it right, anyone tries anything you get me he's a big man <laughs> people say he's ghost from power but <laughs> i put him on the italian version come on oh you see you finished money heist in the end then didn't you yeah, yeah, yeah. good 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 i, li I like I li season five comes out i like power more though you like power more? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I like money heist more. No, it's not. Because money heist, it never got boring. Like, it was so consistent. Oh, have, have, have you seen my impression of um, the professor? Watch I it. I Watch it. I'll show you a picture of me. actually. Amazing. Is it when your student passed and you were like, the professor knows? I'll show you. I'll show you at the end. Oh so I've called me the professor of driving. <laughs> Where do I go? Straight? Where do you go if I don't say? Yeah, okay. You plan on going on any holidays this year? Mm. Not really. Here, of course, when you stall, you don't do your six point check again in the middle of a traffic light. Check your mirrors and then obviously be safe to move off again. Um, again, as you can see, as a teacher, we're trying our best to not make the lessons boring, try to be entertaining and have a good report with our student, but at the same time, try to understand that we're in a mock test. We're trying to um, teach our student the correct way of driving. So again, it might seem like um, we're trying to cut Ryan off, but we're not. We're trying to focus and let her do the driving test itself and focus on the driving test. So take the third exit. So let's do this.
Okay, let's... Let's take the third exit on the roundabout. No worries. Third, yeah? Yes, please, yeah. So Ryan has been very lucky because the route that we're on, we want to take the third exit. Had I not been taking the third exit, I would have definitely given Ryan a serious fall, uh, a fall that would make a failure of driving test. Why? Because you should be driving on the left hand side. As soon as you go off onto the roundabout, move back into the left lane. But again, fortunate for her, we're taking the third exit. Otherwise, a major fall straight away. Do you reckon? Uh, you should be an examiner, Ryan. You should be. You should be a driving instructor. Maybe one day. Lashing on the side, then. Mm. Can't be my main thing no more. What happened to you? I swear you were going to learn lashing. Let's let's not bait me out on camera. <laughs> Joking, guys. <laughs> I'm a muscular guy, right? Yes. Me and Ryan, we're gonna do a partnership in lashing. Yeah, I was, he was gonna be my PA. Mm. Let's, so go let's go left here. Let's go left here. Yeah. yeah, so whenever I'm fully booked on a day, yeah. he will do the clients that wanted to book him. Ryan, all your clients will come to me. Yes. They'll like me more than you. Hopefully not. You won't end up being better than me, I hope. So Ryan um, is correct to identify that her roundabouts were actually very good. Um, so if you're a student watching the roundabout, she went into the, let's talk about the last roundabout she did. She went into the right lane, counted one, two. Maybe the indicator was slightly early, but not early enough to fail off. The left indicator for coming off, that is. So, um, and then she got into the correct lane. So again, credit to her. And the roundabout before that, the roundabout itself was good, but then once you're off the roundabout, you have to move back into the left-hand side. And again, as I said before, had we continued to go straight on the test route, I would have failed it because now you're on the right-hand side. And I've seen this happen with my other students where the route is you have to now turn right or wherever, wherever you need to go. Now you have to move back into the left lane because of the, because of the route that you're going on. Therefore, you saved yourself a major fault and the examiner is now not giving a major fault. I've seen it happen, but at the same time, the examiner can also give it a major. It's up to his discretion. So bear that in mind. As soon as you're off, get back into the left lane. And then if you're taking the third, you move back out to the right. Okay. Just in case you guys are wondering why I keep doing this, it's got to be done. Safe driving. Okay, round about right and take the third exit. Third. Third exit.
gosh, I know where we are. They sell some banging Caribbean food here. Yeah. It's literally right behind. So nice. Anyway, What's that? Street. Jerk chicken? Mm, not really. I don't really like jerk chicken. So it's spicy. I'm not really spicy. You find jerk chicken spicy? Yeah, it wow. is spicy. Not really. I wish I liked spicy food. Yeah. I get called boring all the time because I don't like it, but. Oh, that's all right. Let's go um, left at the nice. roundabout. What do you get from Nando's? I always get lemon and herb. Yeah. But I should start getting medium because I feel like medium wouldn't be that bad. It's all right. So go left here. Yeah? So that was definitely a major, but we knew. Where do I go? Figure out where. Straight. Figure out. You don't say What's nothing. that? Okay. Okay. You're gonna find somewhere on the right to park, please. Okay, reverse back to cars length. Okay. Um, that should be enough. Okay, move off from here. about that. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> he was going to go flying off. <laughs> I'm dead. Right. Turn, turn right at the end of the road. to pull up behind this blue car on the left. Oh. Okay. Don't worry about the driveway. No worries. And this is fine, around here is fine. Okay. Okay, and then move off from here again. Okay. So let's just quickly replay how Ryan got into the road and she stole the car. Now up to the examiner what he decides to do, he may give it a major fault, a serious fault for stalling in the middle of a road or he may be impressed by End the fact the that road, at least she reacted. Right. So I was happy enough that she reacted, she stopped the car but she didn't put the clutch down unfortunately and therefore stalling the car. Let's not forget that she drives an automatic car so she probably just um, accidentally forgot to put the clutch down but imagine the examiner, now he's gonna make the decision, he's impressed by the fact that you reacted to the um, hazard coming in front of you and um, don't forget it's a narrow road so you may see it late but disappointed by the fact that you didn't put the clutch down and therefore stalling in the middle of the road he will make the decision maybe it's a major fault maybe it's a minor if we take the strict opinion it's a major fault now what's happened subsequently was um, the concentrations now slightly gone down you're driving in gear one take the road on the left on the roundabout 
You're driving gear one as I was saying, you're stalling the car and then forgetting to redo the observations and again you're driving in gear one. We can see now you're letting that one mistake get to you and affect your driving. And but we've seen throughout the whole drive that you're actually a very competent driver. Despite the mistakes, the observations are actually really good. So uh, now you're letting the mistakes get to you. Just be careful. Um, if you make one mistake, don't let it get to you. Keep the concentration high because the examiner will make the decision. He may decide what you think is a serious for he may decide it's actually a minor fault. Uh, let's pull up on the left please. That's it. Good. Handbrake neutral. Cancel the indicator. And let's turn the engine off. So before we quickly go through some of the mistakes and just analyze some of the mistakes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the button for all the latest videos. Okay, Ryan, so let's go through the mistakes. I think you know that some of the mistakes you make. What were they? Mm, stalled. Mm. Other than that, nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, you miss perfection, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, okay, how, how did the manoeuvre go? What, the two car one? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Good? Yeah. Did you look over your shoulder when you did it? To be honest, I saw the car was far. Took the risk. Alright, you have to be looking over your shoulder. You didn't look out at all. You didn't look Not once. Bad. I did so. the six point check though. Yeah, I but you didn't you didn't look over your shoulder when you're reversing. It's like driving forward and looking backwards. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Okay, fine. So you have to look over your shoulder. That's a major fault. Then you didn't do your six point oh, check was properly. That major? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a major. Oh, okay. No. Now when you pulled off you stall and you, you didn't do your checks again. You didn't check over your blind spot on this side. So another major. So stalling, like stalling is not a problem. You did a six point check out of traffic light. You don't do six point check out of traffic light. Did I do that? Yeah. When did I do that? You'll see in the video. That's jokes, yeah. You don't do that in the traffic lights. Oh, was it when I stalled? Yeah, I think so. And then I you did thought it. every time your car turns off and you turn it on, you have to do the six point check. You check your mirrors. You do a six point check when you're parked up. Okay. Wow, so let's see. You're driving gear one in the straight road twice did you hear the noise of the yeah, car yeah yeah i can tell okay yeah, that's okay that's something it, yeah. i put my hands up to yeah that was a mistake but other than that calm it's bad for my car petrol exactly. money petrol money well there's more petrol so, go when um, when that happens so listen he's a money uh, man he don't care about petrol <laughs> so that was really bad you did it twice did you hear it why yeah. were you doing it listen, just want to keep me on my toes i can say to you is that i've been driving auto i'm not used to manual that's uh, my excuse in it all right, okay <laughs> I think I need a couple more lessons to get back. Do you know what? It was actually quite good though. This drive was actually quite bad, good. It? It's just near the end, you kind of slightly, you let that mistake get to you. It's when like, you, you let guys that... can relate to this. When you're on a driving lesson for so long, mm. you just get tired. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't really drive anymore. Yeah, but... Unless you drive an auto, then you'll never feel like that. Yeah, manual's like... You don't want to drive auto. It, you don't want to drive an auto in UK either. Not for your first car, no. But in general, definitely. Mm. The disadvantage of automatic license is what? You can't drive both yeah, cars, don't get you? an auto, no, yeah. everyone that's learning, don't get an auto yeah. license, passing manual, but yeah. if you can get an auto car, get it. That's it's true, easier. that's but true. But for your first car, i say probably get manual. Because you'll forget, innit? You forget your stuff if you drive automatic. I yeah. Yeah, you're a sick driver. <laughs> First of all, we have to start off by saying a big thank you to Ryan for taking part in our mock driving test. Um, as I said, she's already driven before, but she's an extremely new driver. And, you know, she's still the same level as some of you guys still learning because um, she just passed recently and now she's driving an automatic car. So you guys can still benefit from her doing the mock test. One thing, let's take the positives from watching the video, which is um, li like um, your driving test you're going to get, you're going to get about two to three big roundabouts. So if you notice how she did a big roundabout, she counted the excess, she went to the correct lane and um yeah she she checked the mirror she indicated then she checked the left mirror to come off so as an examiner taking third exits um and we're giving it to you guys as a, a student we're going to be extremely impressed if you can handle it 
because that's a big part of your driving if you can handle such a big task like third exit on a roundabout it will really impress us but don't also forget that if you do come off on the right hand side of the lane always move back in immediately to the left lane um, you can see throughout the drive, um, she's very confident, she knows about her surroundings, she's checking the mirror, she's planning ahead. Uh, but obviously near the end of the driving test, you can become a bit exhausted, you can become a bit complacent. And therefore, that one mistake can like, really put you off because you're now slightly exhausted. You're doing a um, big test with the examiner sitting next to you, mentally it's stressful. So that one mistake has thrown it off and it might do it to you as well when you're doing your driving lessons or even your driving test. But one thing you have to bear in mind, it still can be considered a minor fault, not a major. It depends on the examiner, what he saw, who's around you. So not everything is clear cut in terms of marking. Stay composed, don't let it get to you and carry on try to be um the way you're driving throughout your lessons you know the correct way um don't give in to little faults like like we did in gear one driving gear one we weren't driving in gear one we know not how not to drive in gear one or when to drive in gear one so why are you making these little little mistakes as an examiner we're going to think okay now you're letting the mistakes get to you and you're just literally mentally not like, broken so keep composed stay strong um you still haven't failed you remember you can still be given a minor fault that's how the exam is that's how it mentally affects us so um, learn let's learn from this particular driving test and this mock test where are we inside the car we're not in my car you're gonna yes, stink it up uh, half chicken yeah and you want a mango and lime oh wait is that coconut and lemon coconut and lemon shall i try that i want to try it as well should i get it as well or we can mix and match should we wait, in case so one's you bad want coconut and lemon I reckon it'll be nice, you know. There's lemon and herb. But to be safe, maybe get I'll get the coconut and lemon and I'll, I'll take one for the team. So then I'll, I'll give you okay, my okay. lemon and herb and you give me one one piece. The will stop it. I think it, I'm getting a pitter though. You're vexed. <laughs> What's it, what? What do you want to get? I want to try it. Should I try it? You want to try it? Are you trying it? You I try the shit. You try it. If it's shit like much don't you think like it's like hard to eat it's bare dry okay like bone. You oh, so you want to get a burger you say i think you should get a rap or something you know oh, not a rap? a rap from nando's why would i get a rap from nando's no, raps are the best that's what no, i think let's go let's go chicago grill then for a wrap okay so you're gonna get the half chicken definitely a coconut okay no 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 okay let's think of another another restaurant just in case really okay what okay. are you thinking so you want a wrap we can still get one guacamamas if you want no that's not the way now yeah, let's get okay do you want a burger then? Not a burger, I'll get a you, wrap. You want a wrap? I'll get fries. Probably a wrap though. Okay, okay, or do a not. Pita, a pita. Okay, no, no, it's cool, cool. You're right, it's hard, it's gonna be hard to eat. Let me just get a wrap. What wrap can I? 100, yeah? Have you, have you ever had a wrap from Nando's? I don't Nando's like wrap. <laughs> from, you ever had a wrap from Nando's? Not from Nando's, I never. promise you, you'll love it. Go on then, go on. I give me a wrap. You, give I me wouldn't a wrap. lie to you. Let's get a wrap. Alright, guys, I've never had a wrap from Nando's, so this is my first time trying yeah, we'll it. Reaction. I wanna <laughs> get half chicken. I wanna get half chicken, protein, but it's cool. See the, see the gains? Uh, uh, it's a little Game, bit. I've lost the gains. Wait. Oh, we're the same oh. size. That's embarrassing. Oh my gosh, I've actually lost my gains. Please. So that's a picture. Now. Wait. There you go. Okay, do you want Perry salted chips? No, they're too salty for really? me. Really? Are you getting Perry? I'm getting Perry. You can get. Okay, we'll match, yeah. I'll have some of your chips. And then you have to add. I'll have some cheese of your chips, it. right? Would you rather want halloumi or cheddar? Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. So we just come back from Nando's, and Farhan said he's never had a wrap before, so I peer pressured him into right. getting a wrap. That's really, my one. I really want today. He got coconut and lemon, so if it's not nice, that's his loss. He wanted to no. get half chicken. I said to him, "Why are you gonna get that? That's true." If this doesn't go well, I'm gonna have yours as well. <laughs> All right, yeah. fine. You can have mine. That's right. Yay. And he doesn't get peri salt on his chips, isn't that weird? It's too salty. So weird. It's too salty. I think it's more spicy than salt. Alright, thank you, Ryan. Like and share and subscribe. And you get a free wrap. Mm hmm. It's on me. Give me that. Is that, is that your chips? Mm hmm. Safe. Taste that. Anybody thinking of getting the coconut and lemon wrap, I would say definitely get it. It was 100% worth it. And I want to say thank you to Ryan for getting it for me. Um, obviously, we were doing a mock test, but she wanted to get me food. So I'm not going to say no to that. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If there's anything in driving you're finding a bit difficult, let me know. Comment below and I'll try to make a video of it. Thank you again and thank you to Ryan.